Hey there. Don't know what part of the country or the world you might be in, but we have a uh, phenomenon here, billboards everywhere, all along the highway. And uh, I think the majority of them are for lawyer companies, lawyers, legal companies. And they're basically saying, asking you if you had an auto injury or a work-related injury, something like that. And it's kind of a coincidence that uh, the next eerie issue is about vampires. But uh, these folks are definitely vampires, blood sucking or money sucking or whatever in there. It's like, oh, we're going to, you know, help you, protect you and reimburse you and stuff. It's like, no, no, they're not really in it for that. They're in it because, you know, with an injury case, they can get a big, uh, big sum of money usually with a jury in a court case. So anyway, this whole thing of money underlying everything, which I'm talking about a good bit now. Um, you might wonder, well, what would happen if money just mysteriously disappeared? Would everything stop? Well, I don't think so, because um, things like farming and uh, transportation, things like that, um, you know, why couldn't they just continue? Oh, well, they couldn't buy gasoline. Well, you know, we uh, drill for oil and everything all the time. These companies do it. And uh, the whole infrastructure is there. So everything could go on without money. Oh, well, another complaint would be, well, if everything was free, you know, people would go to the grocery store and they would hoard things and there wouldn't be enough for everyone else. That's a pretty common uh, complaint and uh, argument rather. And that's not true either. You might have a small amount of people that would do that uh, because they're a little crazy, but um, generally it wouldn't. So anyway, once money's taken out of the equation, uh, there's a sense of peace and serenity, calm that comes along because people don't have to worry about survival, don't have to struggle all the time. Okay, well, that's enough of that subject. Another subject, uh, email came in from Apple today, who I'm going to begin referring to as Crapple. And uh, it's about several things, upgrades to their systems and things. One is um, AI. And what they basically are claiming right off the bat is that uh, these new AI features will help you to express yourself. Nothing could be further from the truth. If you are using a program to express yourself, then you are not expressing yourself. You know, as a matter of fact, you're being silenced in a way, or at least your ability to express yourself is being stunted. So you might use an analogy like um, walking. See, here I am walking along and um, say someone says, oh, here's a crutch, you know, it's like this crutch will help you walk. It will help you because you won't have to, your legs won't use as much energy, you know. Okay, well, say you start doing that, a crutch or a wheelchair or whatever, and it's like the more you do it, the less able you are to walk. Same thing with these technologies. The more you use them to express yourself, the less able you are to express yourself. And it drives me crazy with texting that um, every time I'm writing something, it jumps in and tries to finish it for me. And uh, it's never what I want to say. Um, so is everything really going to get all boiled down to, uh, you know, these little AI cliche things. Oh, thanks for asking. Have a nice day. You know, and that's you expressing yourself. So uh, anyway, um, and another thing in this uh, Apple crapple uh, 
new announcement. Uh, there's an image in there which I find truly disturbing, which I'm going to uh, include in this video. So here it is. So here you have a person alone, isolated, in front of multiple screens, gigantic screens. So where's the reality? Where's your relationships? All gone. And this is supposed to be something desirable? Oh boy. So anyway, uh, my last little talk, I mentioned things like dumb phones and uh, apparently a lot of people are getting really fed up with the whole thing. They realize they're getting hacked. Uh, they don't want to do it anymore. And uh, when it comes to the internet, I have to draw a fine line because, for example, I've been selling online, uh, eBay, Etsy, my websites and things like that, basically since about 1990. I rely on it for income. Uh, I also use Facebook for promotions. So if, I'm, if I have a product that relates to horror or tiki or comics or something, then I will post that in these groups. But when I open the app, the Facebook app, I mean, the first thing that pops up is posts that they think you're going to be interested in, to, you know, based upon your browsing history and stuff like that. And it's like, I just don't look at those. I look to see if um, anyone has contacted me or if there's some um, announcement relating to the account. So, uh, anyway, it's quite insidious, the whole system, technology, and media, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'm just glad that a lot of people are revolting uh -huh, against it. And uh, I think the more that spreads, uh, the better off things will be. So I think that's it. I'll leave it there.